around 70% of the Earth's surface is covered by oceans. This means that humans, though our extraordinary brains set us apart from most of the animal kingdom, are not the mammals that inhabit the largest area on Earth. However, another set of mammals do. Marine mammals. Marine mammals are notably intelligent. Dolphins engage in social interactions that mimic the way humans call each other by names. Sea otters even tie themselves in cult to sleep so as not to drift away. But the cutest of them all? Although humans are not marine mammals, our extreme and wasteful actions such as overfishing and pollution leave the ocean in a dangerous place. Such pollution can be so severe, different species have become threatened or extinct. The motives behind such actions are often in regards to obtaining food, not recycling, bycatch, and fashion. More than 50 million animals are violently killed for use in fashion every year. Models, high fashion brands, celebrities, and marketing make these products out to be luxury fashion accessory. But this is no ordinary accessory. And it's, it's an accessory obtained through methods such as gassing, barbaric, body gripping traps, electrocution, and neck breaking. What's worse is that the fur used is not a byproduct of the meat industry. Let's take rabbits for example. Rabbit fur is falsely identified as a byproduct of meat production. The truth is, Few rabbit skins are obtained from slaughterhouses, in which more often dispose of undesirable pelts of rabbits bred to make meat. Baby seals are coveted animal for their fur. Why haven't you heard, you heard about this horrific crime? It's because imports of seal products have been illegal in the United States since 1972 thanks to the Marine Mammal Protection Act, yet the abuse of baby harp seals is happening right next door. Recently, the Canadian government issued a change in their regulation for seal hunters. Their action against animal brutality came after multiple petitions were signed and sent, in addition to nonprofit organizations like PETA creating awareness campaigns. So, in an effort to minimize inhumane treatment, the Canadian government created a mandate that says seals can only be killed using a high-powered rifle or shotgun, a club, or a hunting tool called a hackapick. The result? Of the 468,000 harp, hooded, and gray seals reported killed by the government for the 2015 quota, almost all are likely to have been killed in a manner of such cruelty that showing footage of the hunt would make you sick. Nature journalists working for the Humane Society International released gruesome footage of baby seals being shot, clubbed, and dragged aboard hunting vessels. Footage that, the group alleges, shows the hunt is anything but humane. The film is not the only form of evidence being sent to the media, but it was released just a week from April 20th. Canadian fishermen will slaughter many of the survivors. Many of these seal pups probably have all... This proves that the problem is continually occurring and at outrageously high numbers. The demand for these products is on a large international level. The top countries to receive exports from Canada include Finland, Germany, Hong Kong, China, and Norway. Norway has the largest amount of first seal coats bought, a whopping 10,042,654 pelts. That's just one of the countries with an amount of baby seals, typically 12 days to 4 months old, being brutally clubbed to death. The incentive for the hunters is immense as well, for in 2001, Canada's fur industry was valued at 30, 335 million. The seal fur trade is a nasty business. To put a face to these monstrosities, I'll introduce you to a man who self-proclaims to be the king of the seal killers. Mr. Hatim Yavuz operates his business in Sydney, Australia, where he employs thousands of um, Namibia to slaughter young seals for his business. He also gets baby seal skins from Greenland and Canada and owns 60% of the seal fur market. Through this market, he has come to be a multimillionaire and even has admitted that he has tried to breed seals himself to collect fur. 
but the seals were in cages were too sick to breed. His company supplies fur to Gucci, Prada, and Versace. While Canada has the largest seal fur trade market, this inhumane process is partake in, in multiple places. Greenland, Iceland, Norway, Russia, Finland, and Sweden all partake in the field in the sea fur market. 